Hello, this is Elena with MedLab Diagnostics doing a quick video on how to use your pH test strips 4.5 to 9.0. These particular test strips are only for saliva and urine. We do have some other pH strips that can be used to test other liquids, but for the purpose of these strips, these are only for saliva and urine, and they have a little bit more of a tight range here on the pH values um, in intervals of 0.25, so you can get a, a more specific result. So today we're going to test some uh, lemon water and baking soda water so that you can see how these strips change color in an acidic and an alkaline environment. But once again, when you're using these, only use them for saliva and urine. Okay, so when you take out the strip, you can see that when you first take it out, it is already has some, has some color on it already. Um, it has like a little bit of a light orangish color to it, and that's normal how they look when you take them out. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, dip the strip and see what we get. So the first one we're going to do is going to be the lemon water. So we'll go ahead and dip it in there and then make sure you take out any excess liquid and then lay your strip down and we're going to wait 15 seconds for the color change. And it's already starting to develop. So we'll give that a couple more seconds and then we're going to go ahead and uh, check our results against the chart here that's on the bottle. Now when you look at the results here, the two pads are going to be red as one result. So these two colors here underneath each result correspond to one result. And um, the two colors, color pads that you see on the bottle correspond to the two color pads that are on your strip. So what you want to do is when you go to compare your strip, you want to compare the two pads on the strip to the two pads on the bottle that match the closest. And this whole set of results up here is one set of results, and these results down here is a different set of results. Normally the acidic results are going to be up here at the top, and the alkaline results are going to be down here at the bottom. So anything between 4.5 and 6.5 is acidic, and then um, 7 is neutral, 6.75 is still a little acidic, 7 is neutral, and then anything from 7.25 on to 9 is going to be your alkaline results. So let's go ahead and compare the results now. And if we go ahead and look and see what the closest result is, it looks like The closest result is a pH of about 4.5 or 5. It could be either one of those. I think it's slightly lighter than this one, so I'm going to go with uh, the pH of 5. So looks like pH of 5 is my result. And uh, pH of 5 is acidic, so that would go with, um, correspond to the acidity of lemon water. And now we're going to test the baking soda water and see what we get. So we're going to go ahead and dip the strip in here in the baking soda water. And you can see an instant result here, how it changed instantly. We didn't even have to wait the 15 seconds and it already changed. So when you get results that are like these bluish green colors, those usually correspond to an alkaline result. And we're going to do the same thing. Now wait a, a couple seconds and then we're going to compare the two pads on our strip to the two color combinations on the chart and we're going to go with the one that matches the closest. Alright, so we're going to check our chart here and see what we get. Okay. So it looks like we are at about a 9, pH of 9 is our closest match. So you can see it's a pretty close match here. So you just keep going along and matching against the chart until you find one that's a really close match. Now you may not always get an exact match like this. Sometimes it may not be exactly the same color, but you just go with the color combination that matches the closest. So pH of 9... Um, 
is a very alkaline pH, which corresponds to baking soda water because baking soda is very alkaline. So you can see how these change color in an acidic environment and in an alkaline environment. So if you have any questions at all on how to use your pH strips, feel free to send us an email at info at medlabdiagnostics.org and we will be happy to help you. And please be sure to like this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.